Classroom looking so messy? Gosh, it is a mess. Yeah, that isn't right. It shouldn't happen again. We have to do something about this. Good morning, kids. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. What was that you just said, Chiku? Do something about what? Miss Dorothy, as soon as we entered the classroom this morning, Choo Choo pointed out how messy it looked. And so, I was wondering if we could do something to make sure we never leave the classroom looking like this. That would be a very responsible thing to do. Hmm. Let me see if I can think of a solution. I know what we can do. We can appoint a cleanup officer. A cleanup officer? Yes, someone from among us, whose job it'll be to remind us that we have to keep our classroom tidy. That's a great idea, Miss Dorothy. But who will be the cleanup officer? You, Choo Choo! Me? Because you notice immediately when things are messy. And you like things in order. And you're good at getting things done. And you'll make a better cleanup officer than me. Even though I'm the smartest and the greatest. Oh, Cusley! <laughs> <laughs> What do you say, Choo Choo? Your friends all think you'll make a great cleanup officer. Thanks, friends. Yes, Miss Dorothy. I'm ready to be cleanup officer. Yippee! Thanks, everyone. Okay, then. Let's get on with our art class now. Ready, everyone? Ready, Miss Dorothy! Good job, all of you. When you're done, you can pin your work on the board. And after that, you can take a snack break. Uh-oh! That's a mess! Hey! Come back! the cleanup officer. I guess I can't ignore the mess. That sandwich you shared, Cha-Cha? It was delicious! You're 
You're welcome, Chiku. Thanks for sharing your snacks with me. Oh, Choo Choo, there you are. Why didn't you come out for snacks? You must be hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. Wow, look at how clean that table looks. Wow, well done, Officer Choo Choo. I know I'm the smartest and the greatest, but even I couldn't have done such a great job. <laughs> And that's all for today's lesson, kids. It's time for your drama practice. Yes! Oh, I love drama practice. Yay! Hey, shouldn't we tidy up first? The classroom looks a mess. Oh, don't be a bore, Officer Choo Choo. We can do it later. Yeah, right now we need to start our drama practice and decide who's going to play what part. Let's go! Just because I'm cleanup officer doesn't mean that nobody else should clean their own mess. It's everybody's duty to keep the classroom clean. Idea! I know what to do. Time to interrupt my friend's drama practice. Good morning, Detective Chiku. I'm here with my team. This is Captain Chica. And this is Sheriff Cusley. Um, Sergeant Cha-Cha. You forgot to mention I'm the smartest sheriff ever. Good morning, Sergeant Cha-Cha, Captain Chica, and the smartest sheriff, Cusley. Let's get going. We have work to do. You bet you have work to do. Choo-choo, where were you? You're late for drama practice. We waited, but... We've already decided on our parts. Now there's no part for you. Hang on, Choo Choo. You could be a tree. You could stand right here next to us while we act our parts. I'm sorry to interrupt the drama practice, but there's something all of you need to do before you act your parts. Huh? What's this? Ew! My hands are covered in paint! Yuck! Mine too! Oops! What a mess! Ugh! Oh! But isn't this the palette I used during our class? I think I know what Choo Choo's trying to tell us! We all use this stuff! We all just left it there. Gosh! And we ran out to eat our snacks without cleaning up our mess. Leaving the cleanup officer to tidy up alone. That wasn't fair of us. Yeah, that wasn't right. And Choo Choo couldn't come out at snack time or join us for drama practice which she loves. Because we left all the cleaning up to her! We're sorry, Choo Choo. You're an excellent cleanup officer, Choo Choo, because you've made us understand that it's everyone's responsibility to keep the classroom clean. Come on, let's go to the classroom. We have work to do. Wow! The classroom looks really tidy. Thanks to cleanup officer Choo Choo, Miss Dorothy. She made us realize that it's everything.
everyone's responsibility to keep the classroom clean. Good job, Officer Choo Choo. The best cleanup officer ever. Even better than me. Oh, Cusley. <laughs> Thank you, friends. I couldn't have done this without your help. I must say, we make a great team. Tell you a secret? Today's my mommy's birthday! And Cha Cha, Taku, and I have a surprise for her! We're gonna bake a cake for her! The best cake in the world! Come, watch how we do it! But shh, be very quiet! We don't want to wake mommy up! Cha Cha, Taku, wake up! Do you remember what day it is? It's mom! Oh, oops! It's mommy's birthday! <laughs> Come on then, let's go bake the best cake in the world! For the best mommy in the world! Yippee! Daddy's gonna help us bake the best cake in the world! Thanks, Daddy! Let's get started, kids! We want to get it ready before Mommy wakes up, don't we? <laughs> so, what shape should the cake be? This one, Daddy! Okay! Let's get down to work. Choo Choo and Cha Cha, would you like to make the cake batter while I help Taku with the frosting? Yes, Daddy! Taku, that looks yummy. Uh-oh, now the best cake in the world won't have enough frosting. <laughs> oh, baby Taku, it's okay. It was a mistake. Cheer up. It'll still be the best cake in the world, Taku. Hey, I have an idea. Mommy loves the color pink. Should we add a little pink to the batter? That's a great idea. She'd love that, Choo Choo. I've got this. A few drops. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. That's too much color. I think I just ruined the best cake in the world. Oh, Cha-Cha, don't feel bad about it. It was a mistake. Come on, cheer up, Cha-Cha. We'll still bake the best cake in the world. Daddy, I think we're ready to put this in the oven. Sure, darling. And now, we wait for a bit. Wow! And now for the most fun part, the frosting! See that, Taku? There's plenty left. I'm sure I'll manage to cover the whole cake. I ruined it! It's not heart-shaped anymore! This was supposed to be a perfect cake, but everything's gone wrong! Color! The shape, the frosting, nothing's worked out. Choo-choo, don't 
don't cry, please, Daddy. This cake doesn't look that great. Can we please drive down to the cake shop and buy a nice one for Mommy instead? Aw, Choo Choo. I can understand that you're feeling disappointed because the cake didn't turn out the way that you wanted. But let me tell you something. I've been watching the three of you, and I saw the love that you put into this cake. That's the magic ingredient, Choo Choo. That's what'll make it the best cake in the world. But it looks so... so wobbly. Choo Choo, I want you to think of something. Think of Mommy's treasure box. What does she keep in there? All the wobbly pictures we drew for her from the time we were babies. Exactly. And that's why I'm pretty sure that Mommy would prefer something that the three of you made rather than something that anyone can buy in a store. That's right, Daddy. Mommy loves the things we make her, even if they look kind of wobbly. Okay, come on. Let's take this to Mommy. Surprise! Happy birthday, Mommy! <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! We baked this for you, Mommy! Aw, that's so sweet, kids. What a lovely surprise. Thank you, my darlings. Is it good, Mommy? Good. It's great, kids. I love it. You know why I love this cake so much? It's because I can feel the thoughtfulness that went into it. And I can taste the love that three little pairs of hands poured into it. For me, it's the best cake in the world. invited all our mommies and daddies for a party. We're gonna serve them yummy things to eat. But most importantly, we're gonna be polite and well-mannered kids. It's important to have good manners, right? So come and join our party. Here are the chips. Soft and yummy sandwiches. Here comes the salad! And soda for all the mommies and daddies to drink! Everything looks so nice! It's going to be an awesome mommy and daddy's party! I wonder where Cusley is? Yeah, he's supposed to help us! Look who's here to make your day! It's super adorable me, Cusley! You are late, Cusley. We've already finished doing all the work. Hey, that's not true. I'm here to do the most important job. Try out all the food and see if it's good enough for our parents. <laughs> Cusley, please don't eat with your mouth open. It's disgusting. And 
don't make those sounds while chewing, Cusley. These chips are great! Um, uh, Cusley, that's gross! Yeah, you're not supposed to talk with food in your mouth. Hey, what's your problem? I enjoy eating this way. But people around you don't enjoy watching you. Yeah, it grosses them out. That's just too bad for them. <laughs> Yummy! You know what I like best about soda? Uh. The burps! <laughs> Ew! Cusley, that's really bad manners. Uh. But it's so much fun! <laughs> uh. Ugh, bad manners aren't funny, Cusley! Gosh, what a mess you make while eating, Cusley! That's not polite! There's food all over your face! It's disgusting! Yeah! I'd hate to be sitting next to someone with such terrible table manners. Well then, don't! Your problem! I'm headed to the yard to see if the mommies and daddies are on their way! <laughs> Cusley's being so gross! If he behaves like this during the party, all the parents will be disgusted! Oh no! We can't let that happen! It's better to call off the party. What's up, kids? Why does everyone look so sad? I thought you'd all be excited about your mommy's and daddy's party. Mommy, we were really excited about this party. But not anymore. We want to call it off. Why? What happened, darlings? Tell me. Maybe I can help fix things. Mommy, Hesley's doing disgusting things. He's eating with his mouth open and burping and spilling. And he won't stop, because he thinks it's funny. Yes, Mrs. Charlie. Cusley's terrible table manners will gross out all our parents. That's why we want to call off the party. Hmm, that doesn't sound very pleasant at all. But you know what, kids? You're his best friends. And if you want to do what's good for him, you must help him improve his table manners. But how, Mommy? He just laughs at us. So here's an idea. Instead of canceling the party for everyone, you need to tell Cusley that he's not welcome to the party if he shows such bad manners. That's, That's a, a great, great idea! idea. Cusley, we need to talk to you. If it's about the way I eat, I'm not listening. You're gonna have to put up with it. No, we're not gonna put up with it. Huh? What does that mean? That means you're not invited to the mommy's and daddy's party. What? But why? Because your bad manners will ruin the party for everyone. That's why we can't have you at the party. My mommy said so too. Your mommy said that? Okay, listen. I really want to be at the party. I promise I'll be well mannered. I'm sorry. I won't behave like that anymore. Please. Please, please let me attend the party. I won't be gross anymore. You, you promise? promise? I promise. Okay, we'll give you a chance, Cusley. But if you're ill-mannered again, we, we won't be your friends. friends. You know who's going to be the best-behaved kid at that party? Super adorable me. Some Mrs. Williams, 
May I serve you one, Mr. Charlie? You're a very polite kid, Cusley. Yes, you have excellent table manners. Thank you, Mrs. Williams and Mr. Charlie. Actually, I get that a lot. I'm so bored of being praised all the time. Ugh. Watch me have some fun. Where are your manners, Cusley? Don't you know you're supposed to cover your mouth while yawning? <laughs> I'm always so excited about coming to school. Yeah, me too. I love learning new things every day. Look, a cute little froggy. I'm going to follow it and see where it goes. Wait for me, Mr. Froggy. Why don't you all head to class? I'll join you in a bit. See, see you later, Cha-Cha. Place, Mr. Froggy? Huh? What's this? Wow, it's shaped like a car. It's a pencil box. Ooh, so many new pencils and pointy tips. And the eraser is shaped like a car, too! How cool! I love the way it opens and shuts! Oh, lucky kid, whoever owns this car-shaped pencil box. I wish I had one like this. Well, it doesn't belong to me, so I better put it back. Whoever lost it will probably come looking for it. But what if they don't come looking for it? What if it just keeps lying here under the bench? It'll get ruined here in the dirt. It's better that someone uses it. Nah, it doesn't belong to me. I shouldn't keep it. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why do you say you shouldn't keep it? Haven't you ever heard of finders, keepers, losers, weepers? Huh? That's how it works, buddy. If you find something, you can keep it. Too bad for the person who wasn't careful and who lost it. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Cool, I'll keep it. I know you really like this pencil box, Cha-Cha, but it's not yours. You should leave it where you found it. The bell. Excuse me, I've got to get to class. All right, kids. You can start your writing assignment. Go on, get your pencils and erasers out. Okay, kids, it's time for your snack break now. You can put away your books and go out. Thank you, Miss Dorothy. how it feels. Don't worry. I'm sure someone will find it and return it. What's happened? 
Why is Suki so sad? She's lost a pencil box that she loved. Uh, a pencil box? Yes, it was a very special pencil box because my granny gave it to me for Chinese New Year last year. Uh, Suki, do you remember where you last used it? This morning, I was sitting on that bench. I had the pencil box on my lap, but after that, when I got to class, I couldn't find it. It's beautiful. It's shaped like a car. Choo choo, cha cha. Will you help me look for it? Of course! Let's go search near the bench. Cha cha, you can tell the truth and do the right thing. Don't do that, Cha-Cha. It could get you in trouble. Besides, don't you love the pencil box? I love the pencil box, but it doesn't belong to me. And I don't like how it's making Suki so sad. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to do the right thing. Choo-choo, Suki, wait. I need to tell you something. What is it, Cha-Cha? Tell us. Suki, this morning I found a beautiful car-shaped pencil box under this bench. Oh, and then? Well, I liked it so much, I picked it up and decided to keep it. I believed that finders are keepers and that it's okay to take something that someone else has lost. But now I've understood that taking something that doesn't belong to you isn't a nice thing to do. Suki, I took your pencil box and I'm really sorry about it. I want to give it back to you. Oh, Cha-Cha. How brave of you to tell the truth. Do you forgive me, Suki? Are we still friends? Of course I forgive you, Cha-Cha. And of course we're still friends. I'm proud to have a brave and honest friend like you, Cha-Cha. Well done, little brother. I'm so proud that you had the courage to do the right thing. Hi, 
I'm Choo Choo. And I'm super excited today. My best friend Chiku is coming over to play. And she says she has a surprise for me. Do you love surprises? I do. So stay with me and let's find out what the surprise is. Come. Choo Choo, I'm here. Look what I've got. Hi, best friend Choo Choo. Hi, best friend Chiku. Where is it? Where is it? Where's my surprise? On your head! <laughs> <laughs> take really good care of this bracelet and I'm never gonna lose it. Aww, that's so sweet, Choo Choo. joining us in the kitchen, will you remember to put it safely on that table there?
Are you hungry? What's wrong? Do you want to go for a walk? Stop, Bubbles! Calm down! Hey! Cut it out, Bubbles! I don't like this game! Calm down, Bubbles! Huh? Look at what you've done! Okay, enough, Bubbles! We're not going to talk to you till you calm down! Go lie down and stay there! Come on, let's go to my room and try on the bracelet again! Huh? The bracelet isn't here! I told Bubbles to put it here! Must be around here somewhere! Let's look for it! No luck! Bubbles must have misplaced it! I'm so mad at him today! Come on! Let's go talk to him about it! Bubbles, you've been a very bad boy today! You've even misplaced my new bracelet! <laughs> hmm, Bubbles has never behaved so strangely before! Do you think he's trying to tell us something? <laughs> You're right! I think he's asking us to follow him! So that's where the bracelet went! The bird must have flown in through the window and taken it! And that's what poor Bubbles has been trying to tell us! And we were getting mad at him! We're, we're sorry, Bubbles! Really sorry! Hi, Birdie! We know you like shiny things! So we got you these sparkly decorations! <laughs> Thank you, Bertie, for giving this back to us! Bubbles, if it wasn't for you, we would have never known where the bracelet went. You're a clever dog. And, and you're, you're a, a hero. hero. How cool is our doggy, our Bubbles Bow Wow? He guards us and keeps our things safe. Bow Wow! How cool is our doggy, our Bubbles Bow Wow? We love our doggy. He's our friend. Miss Dorothy is going to give us a class project today. Yay! I can't wait to hear what it is. Well, whatever it is, you can bet that mine will be best project in class ever. <laughs> Good morning, kids. Good morning, Miss Dorothy. 
What beautiful flowers, Miss Dorothy. Yeah, they're real pretty. Did you buy them, Miss Dorothy? No, I grew them myself. Wow! I love to be able to grow flowers. I'm so happy to hear that, because that's what our class project is all about. Planting and growing flowers at home. Yay! Well, I'm just as excited as you are. So let's get this project started. Here are seeds and flower pots for each of you. When you get home, you need to put soil in the flower pots and sow the seeds in the soil. And then pretty flowers will bloom. Um, yes, Cusley, but not immediately. It'll take time and patience and lots of work. How much time, Miss Dorothy? Is there a way to make plants grow quickly? I'm afraid not. There are no shortcuts. It takes time and care. How often do we have to take care of the plants, Miss Dorothy? Every single day. To grow healthy plants, you need to see that they have enough water, sunlight, and air. Every day. And if you do that for a few weeks, you'll be rewarded with your own pretty flowers. Wow! It's a lot of hard work. Do you think you'll be able to do that? Yes, Miss Dorothy! Great! And in a few weeks, when your plants have flowered, you'll all bring them to class for show and tell, and we'll talk all about what we've learned from this project. That'll be the best part! Because my plant will have the best flowers! Because I'm the best! Oh, Cusley! I'm sure you'll all do a good job and learn a lot from this project. All the best! Can't wait to get home and get started on this project! Same here! I'm so excited about all the stuff I'll learn! Yeah, me too! And I'm ready for the hard work! Wow! Don't work too hard, though. Cause no matter what you do, my project's gonna be the best! Day one. Grow, grow, there you go. My little flower seed. There you go, little seed. I'll take care of you. I promise. Soil? Check. Water? Check. Sunlight? Very good. You're gonna do great, little seed. Here's some music for you, little seed. Hmm. Miss Dorothy said that we have to put soil in the flower pot and sow the seed. That means I'll have to stick my hands in dirt. Ugh! I don't want to do that. I've got a few weeks. Maybe I'll plant this tomorrow. That's such a smart idea. Can't help it if I'm full of smart ideas. After five days. Well, kids, it's been five days since you all took your seeds and pots home. I'd love to hear how the project is coming along for all of you. Who wants to go first? Miss Dorothy, I've been watering the pot every day and seeing that it gets sunlight and fresh air. And guess what? This morning, I saw a teeny tiny little plant where I planted the seed. Yes, me too. The, the same thing, thing happened to my seed. seed. Sounds like you're all taking very good care of your seeds. What about you, Cusley? How's your project coming along? Uh, there's no tiny plant in my flower pot. Uh, uh, what I mean is, mine's quite big already. Can't call it a tiny plant. I guess it's because I'm taking very good care of it. Sounds like you're doing a great job, Cusley. Keep it up! Where's that box of seeds? Where did it go? Oh no, looks like I've lost it. What do I do now? Never mind, I'll think of something. I'm sure I'll get one of my great ideas. In fact, I think I already got one. Some weeks later. Hi, little flower. Miss Dorothy, this morning I 
woke up to find a pretty flower in my pot. The same thing happened to my seed. What about you, Pusley? Oh, of course. Uh, mine's flower. In fact, the flower's so big and bright, I don't need a light in my room at night. Great going, kids. Now remember, tomorrow is show and tell day when everyone brings their projects to class so we can all take a look and talk about what we've learned. Is everyone all set? All set, Miss Dorothy! Tomorrow's show and tell. Time to put my grand idea into action. Good evening, Mr. Gardner. Well, hello, Cusley. What can I do for you? You can help me by planting that tall plant with that big flower in this flower pot, please. Why, of course, Cusley. That's no trouble at all. Thank you, Mr. Gardner. Ha! Project done. That was easy peasy. How smartly I've managed it, while the other kids had to work hard every day. <laughs> on the best class project. How's your flower so huge? That's because, um, that's because I fed it healthy things like, uh, milk. I gave it milk to drink. But milk's not good for plants. Water is. Surely you know that, Cusley. And Miss Dorothy gave us all the same seeds. So... How is your flower different from all of ours? Yeah, it's even a different color. Oh, that's because I I kept it under a pink light. But plants don't need pink lights. They need sunlight. Surely you learned that much about growing plants, Cusley. <sighs> I learned nothing. That's because unlike the rest of you, I didn't grow this myself. Miss Dorothy, I have something to tell you. Go on, Cusley. I didn't do my project like I was supposed to do. I didn't plant the seed when everyone else did. And then on the last day, I got Mr. Gardner to plant this flower in my pot. I took the easy way out, Miss Dorothy. And I realized that that was wrong because by not doing my project myself, I didn't learn anything. From now on, I'll always do my projects myself and the right way. Cusley, I'm glad you've realized your mistake and told the truth. Yes, Cusley. That was brave of you. Not easy to admit one's mistakes. Well done, Cusley. You're pretty awesome. Really? I'm awesome? <laughs> well... Haven't I always told you that? Oh, oh Husley! Miss Dorothy, I want to take another crack at this project. And I want to do it properly this time. Could I please have a box of seeds? Oh, sure, Husley. I think that's a great idea. Thanks, Miss Dorothy. And be sure that I'll grow the 